Hello, Journey Junkie community, and welcome back to the yoga mat. Today, we are working through a morning yoga sequence that focuses on practicing gratitude. This is a quick and easy practice for you to get the blood flowing, to tap into your body, and get your mind really clear around how you want to move throughout your day with that sense and tone of gratitude as the underlying foundation. As always, if you're not part of our online tribe, please come join us. Click the link in the description below and you will be sent a welcome email and an invitation to get started. With that said, we will begin on our backs in Supta Baddha Kanasana. I will meet you there. Okay, we are beginning on our backs. So if you're not there, come meet me. Lie down, bring the soles of your feet together. Let your knees spill out wide. It is still early, right? So our body is not warm yet. Feel free to place blocks underneath your knees or bring your hands into fists and bring them beside your glutes and underneath the upper thigh, acting sort of like a block, yeah? It's a homemade prop. Once you come into a space of comfort and ease, close the eyes and we'll take five breaths here, focusing on what you are grateful for as you breathe. and option to stay right where you are or begin to close and open your legs with me. So inhaling to bring the knees towards one another, make it really slow and smooth. Exhale, let them expand back towards the ground. Inhale, bring them up. Exhale, let them soften down. Keep moving like this, making it very intentional. Lots of grace and ease behind the movement. And as you move through today's yoga sequence, if you find the mind wandering, Bring it back to that moment of gratitude, focusing on who or what you just thought of as we took those five opening breaths. A few more rounds. And we will end with knees together and feet planted down on the earth. From here, cross your right leg over your left, crossing at the knee. Let the legs fall over to the left side of your mat and let the right arm extend for a gentle supine twist. We'll wake up the spine in every direction. So first we do a nice gentle opening from the side body. Breathing from your right fingertips all the way to your shoulder, down your ribs, all the way to your hip, to your knee point and beyond. Really connecting to that channel of energy here. Inhale the legs back up through neutral. Use your belly muscles to get you there. And then uncross, recross. Take it over to the right side of your mat. Letting the left arm extend out 
And again, focusing on that channel of energy. Sending your breath to all those sticky places that feel stuck. Simple as that. Stuck tension. And inhale it back up through center. Uncross your legs. Bring your knees into your chest. And rock from side to side for a moment, massaging the low back. And you choose either rock forward and back on your spine, meaning in a tabletop position, or you can come to your side and push yourself up. Remembering to always choose what feels right in your body on each specific day. And we meet in tabletop position, stacking all of the limbs, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, shoulder with distance, hip with distance. Make sure you're there. Once you're set up, move through your cat-cow pose. Remembering it's the morning, so take it easy. There's no need at all for 100% effort. Now don't get me wrong, I want you to actually put forth effort, but bring in around 50 to 70% of your capacity. And we'll meet in neutral tabletop. Coming down into puppy pose, which is a really huge heart opener. So if it's too much, you can come into child's pose and extend the elbows out in front of you. Um, but you can work through it, right? Like you don't need to do 100%, like I said. So hips over knees, slowly start to walk your hands further out in front of you, and then relaxing the chest towards the ground. You can keep the chin on the ground or bring forehead to the earth. And we'll be here for a few breaths. Next inhale, lift the gaze first. Now to come out of this safely, we wanna really push into our hands. Use our forearms. We're coming forward into Sphinx Pose. So use your whole body to hinge forward, lower the torso down, and slide the forearms out in front of you so that elbows are stacked underneath shoulders, wrists are in line with elbows. Your toenails are down on the earth. Legs are active and energetic. Pubic bone is surrendering down as you're lifting the chest, pushing down as you open and expand through the collarbone. Three breaths. And exhale down. We're moving into one of my favorite shoulder stretch, shoulder stretch is. Bring the left hand into a goal pose shape. Spider up onto your right fingertips and roll over your left hip, bringing your right leg behind you. You can plant it here. If the goal post is too much, you can roll back and straighten the left arm out completely. Take a few breaths here. And next exhale, roll back onto the belly. 
and set yourself up to go to the other side. Right arm is goal post or extended. Left fingertips, you're spidering up. And then we roll onto the right hip. Take your time. And the head rests down here. So there's no reason for the head to be cranking. You'll surely notice that one side is way more open than the other. Take a few breaths. Center back on what that moment of gratitude was. And exhale back down through to center, moving through Bhujangasana Cobra Pose. So we'll do a really baby one, then we'll do a medium one, and then we'll just go for it. Okay, so legs hip width distance, bring the forehead down, hands by the low ribs, and suck the elbows towards one another. Engage the legs, core is active, and we're baby pushing up. So on an inhale, lift up. Really, really low. Magnetize the elbows together, spread through the collarbone, push into the heels of the hands. You wanna feel your back working here with you. Another round of breath. Exhale, lower down. This time we can tap further into those back muscles and lift up higher. So magnetize elbows back on an inhale breath. Push into your hands, lift up. Another breath. Exhale, lower down. Option to do either of those again. I like to bring my hands forward and wider than the mat, spidering up onto my fingertips and bringing the elbows out really wide. On an inhale breath, I lift up and find this huge extension, sending my tailbone down as I rise up higher through the sternum. Take a few breaths in whatever pose you chose. And slowly release to the ground and bring yourself back into Balasana Child's Pose. Extending the fingers forward, the chest softening down, forehead coming to the mat, hips softening back. Take a few breaths. And release the breath. Lift the gaze, hinge your hips forward as you curl your toes under and send the hips back and high for downward facing dog. I'm going to definitely encourage you to bend your knees, send your sitting bones really high, find the stretch purely in your hamstrings as you bring a lot of strength into your arms here. So imagine you're pulling energy up from the earth to strengthen your arms as you send the sits bones higher, making a lot of space throughout the spinal area, feeling that stretch in the hamstrings, like I said, and bringing it away from the calf muscles. Coming back to what you're grateful for. A few more breaths. And inhaling to look forward. Walk your feet to the top of the mat and you'll meet me in a standing forward fold, Uttanasana. Let your head hang heavy. Imagine you are a rag doll here. Heel, toe the feet together. On your next inhale, bend the knees. Inhale, roll up, stacking the vertebra. Imagining you're awakening from your yogic sleep. (sighs) 
and just a few breaths here, a few half sun salutations. Inhale the arms up. Exhale to bend the knees, forward fold. Inhale, hands to shins, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Again, exhale, forward fold. Nice bent knees. Inhale, lift that gaze, flat back. Exhale, release. Inhale, root to rise. One more time, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Root to rise. And exhale, hands down through prayer, meeting in heart center. Now I'm gonna give us a yogi recess to do whatever you want in your hip center. So I'm gonna work into pigeon on both sides. We have about two minutes. So work into your version of hips. You could take Gomukhasana, you could take Upavista Konasana with your legs wide and seated forward fold. You can work into figure four on your back. Um, whatever you like to do, frog pose, happy baby, find what you want. We have two minutes to settle in, show our hips some love before the day begins. And again, continue focusing on that space of gratitude. Also, I want to remind you, we are not at 100% here. If you're doing something on one side, I'll let you know when to switch. All righty, start to work your way out of the pose if you're doing um, a one-sided posture. If you're in Upa Vista or Happy Baby, stay put, keep breathing, keep practicing gratitude. Alrighty, start to work your way out of whatever posture you're in and meet me in a comfortable seated position. We'll end with a short meditation to seal this practice and really focus on that aspect of gratitude as we begin our day ahead. So here we go. Get comfortable in a seated position or you are welcome to take this lying down. If you're seated, rise up through your sitting bones all the way up through the spinal column, those energetic centers that lie within. And allow yourself to get quiet and focus on your breath in that space of gratitude.
come back to the present moment. Keep your eyes nice and shut. Inhale the arms out to the sides. Gather up the energy that we've created here today. Palms come together. Exhale it down through heart center. And we'll seal this practice of gratitude with a universal vibration of OM. Here we go. Take an inhale breath. Oh. Open your eyes. Welcome back. What a beautiful way to start your day on this awesome note of being grateful. Please take it into all of the many to do's that will unfold as your day begins. Um, remember that this space of gratitude and stillness and strength is always available to you whether you are on the mat or off the mat. Again, if you're not part of our online tribe, that link is waiting for you in the description below. Come join us. Otherwise, I'll meet you back here next week for another opportunity to get on our mat and live our journeys.